Hello, I'm Mike Ticino with Emerson, and I'm sharing more tech tips to help you get the most value from your FB Series Flow Computer or FB3000 RTU. Today, I will be demoing how to set up a connection to a gas chromatograph using the easy to use auto configure feature along with the standard SIM 2251 Modbus mapping for GCs. Let's get started. I have a FB1200 Flow Computer set up today. To add a GC to the setup, I will navigate to the Configure tab, then the GC menu item. You'll notice the Default tab is the last poll tab, where you can view the details once connected to the gas chromatograph. I will select the Configuration tab so we can set up the GC. The first step is to choose which of the communication ports on the FB Series Flow Computer or FP3000 RTU will be using to talk to the GC. In the auto configure area of the display, you can open up the point picker to select the appropriate port. For today's example, I will pick the Ethernet port, which on the FB1200 is COM port number 5. When I select COM5 and hit save, you can see that more communications settings appear. You'll have to enter in your GC's device address and IP number. I will enter in my GC's IP address and hit save. Once I do that, I can press the auto configure button to set up the GC automatically. A warning message appears as I am also using the same Ethernet port on my FB1200 to connect with FBX Connect. I can safely hit yes here as there's an open session on the Ethernet port. I will also press yes to enable polling immediately. You'll notice that polling changed from disabled to enabled and the GC polling alarm states normal meaning everything seems to be working as expected. You'll also notice that there are component codes. These might have to be changed depending on your GC settings. What did the auto configure do? Well if I go take a look at my communication settings, I'm going to navigate to the Modbus master page and take a look at the poll table registers which are now set up for me, and the mapping table registers, which are also set up for me. Both of these were set up per the SIM 2251 Modbus mapping settings. If I head back to the GC screens, we can take a look at the last poll tab, and there we can see that the values, because everything's normal, are actually being loaded successfully. You can see the GC has provided us the last analysis data, its stream data, and various other data that will be utilized in the Flow Computer or FB3000's RTU calculations. As you can see, using the auto configure feature to set up a connection to an Emerson GC or another manufacturer's GC which supports the SIM 2251 Modbus mapping is really easy to do using our FBX Connect software. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit emerson.com slash flowcomputers.